Hi, hello, and welcome. I did swear, well, I did say, I was going to do something special for all of you who have followed and liked the characters and places of Dragondom. And here I am. Okay, so in this first musing, I will try to keep it short. If you like it, if you don't, please put a comment. I would love to hear. Sometimes I work in a vacuum too much. And a little bit of feedback is always welcome. Okay, so let me start. Who am I? My name is Leslie. I am a grandmother, a mother, uh, a person. I love nature. I live off grid very happily. I teach. Yes, I do. I teach English. I teach spoken English online. Well, one might say that Aisha is another part of me. So, I keep myself busy. I write every day. I try and make videos when I can. I also am trying now to catch up more on doing audios and working a bit more on Facebook because my very, very dear friend, Tom, who cre helped me to create uh, Dragondom, the Kingdom of the Dragons, the characters and places of Dragondom, Tales from Dragondom and beyond, all three of those pages, sadly died uh, fairly recently. So I now have to take up the slack because all of you, every single one of you, is special to me. So bear with me while I get myself sorted out a little bit and move things around in my life so that I have time to do more of this. Okay, I seem to be able to help people and I suppose that that is actually where Aisha started. Yes, I wrote many, many years ago, in fact over 30 years ago, I used to write anonymously for weekend British magazines and also for kids magazines. So from basic storytelling, fables that would bring over a message to fantasy, fiction, horror and adventure. I've tried my hand at all of them over the years. When my family came along and I moved to another country, I found that life literally took over and I put down my pen and it wasn't until about four years ago that Tom kept on pestering me to start writing again and yes very tentatively I started if you could have seen it it was before I had enough gumption to use an English word to use the computer full-time and I used what I love to use which is paper and pen literally I sat in mountains of scrunched up paper fortunately I have a wood-burning stove so all of the early and not particularly good uh, renditions before I found Aisha all went back into the fire and out to the universe so that is how Aisha started she is partly me bringing through and possibly one might say working through things that I know a lot of people suffer with out there whether it's bullying whether it's feeling the odd person out whether it is not having courage in your own ability and believe me it took a lot of courage for me to actually put my name to something finding my way forward as Aisha has from an introvert very quiet person at the very beginning until she goes through the portal and then she learns and that is what book one is the first book Aisha Portal to Dragondom is her finding out that she is not a mouse sat in a corner afraid of someone laughing at her that she actually has talents that she is someone and that most of the time the people that laughed at her or 
hurt her or used foul language at her and put her down were only doing it because they were either afraid of her, because she was different, she was special, the same as everybody is, but they were afraid of her abilities, or they were going through their own inferiority complex and lashing out at someone who they felt was better than them, or because they just couldn't understand her. And let's face it, in today's world, many, if they don't understand something, hate it and try and destroy it. We have to get through all of these things, and we can, because deep inside us, we each have that special spark. Each of us has something to offer, not only to ourselves and those we love, but to the world in general. That's one of the undertone stories within Aisha. I hope that for anyone, whoever you are, and yes, Aisha is a female, but is she? She can be anyone. Okay, lecture over. Like her, I'm an empath. I'm an intuitive and find peace in being alone. Yes, I'm a hermit, which now is absolutely beautiful for me because it gives me a chance to do what I love and what I hope all of you will love going forward. Hey, if you don't like, tell me. I'm not afraid anymore. I've got over that. And I know that no one can please all the people all the time. But if I can help just one of you, if I can give a few of you enjoyment to relax and let your imaginations run riot, to close off the hustle and the bustle, the rat race that we live in, and cozy up with a damn good book, then I have achieved an amazing amount. So, to Aisha, the tales from Dragondom and beyond started to be born. I refused to be put in a box, so I crossed genres, which is not liked by Amazon and others. Science fiction, fantasy, metaphysics, fables, eco-fiction, psychology, all mixed together in a melting pot, and that, for some, means that there are many layers to be peeled back. So, Aisha, I hope the whole series will be good for anyone, whether it's a parent reading a book at a bedtime story, or an 11-year-old, or a 111-year-old. <laughs> there is something there to enjoy, and there is humour within it, and that I find key. I can't help it, it comes out. Anyone who loves to write will tell you that characters, the places, the worlds, become their world. They become real. It is the only way to tell the story properly. For Aisha, the creation at the beginning, youngster on her own, in the world, finding her feet nervously, her psychic gifts, if you want to put them in the box, and label them, have been both a curse and a joy growing up. She is an outsider, laughing at the times, now, later, as she grows. And this is part of that story, how she learns about herself. So that is the beginning. Yet in one of the icon games, side stories, which we will t I will tell you about later, another time. You actually go back to the very beginning, to when she was a young child. Anyway, to let you know, at this moment, Aisha, the first one, the limited edition, will be in your hands, should you wish them, before Christmas this year. I already have, in total, six of the books written. They're in final proofing and I intend to bring them out to the world in a fairly regular way. Probably one book every six weeks to eight weeks, depending on how the final proofs go. But they will all be in hard copy. At the moment, the Casket of Shadows 
which is Aisha Icon Games, Casket of Shadows. It's available on Kobo and anything that is linked with Kobo. There you will find two, the first two of seven books, which is, as I say, again, it's a side story all on its own. Uh, the full Aisha series is under the name Aisha series on the Novel Tells app for download reading. So that is the only place that you will find, certainly for the moment, the entire series. I've done it that way because of problems previously with putting out ebooks and having them cloned, whatever you would like to call them, and finding out that lots of copies had been used, been read, and all of my hours of work were for now. Yes, people love them, and I have no doubt that people will come back to the others. Maybe I'm old-fashioned, but to me, a good hardback is something that you can keep, you can treasure, and you can read time and time again. As to the other book that I've mentioned, which is already out, which is The Conversation with a Visitor to Earth, that was inspired by one of my students who dared me, basically, to write a short story on eco-fiction. And as she is a doctor, well, so we went into the realm of what climate change, what our changing world, let's put a different word to it. I don't like the word climate change. It's beginning to get a bad name. But what we can do ourselves, instead of waiting, um, and we can do passively, we can do aggressively, without anyone getting hurt. And also bringing forward a few things on what it is actually doing to our health now, at this very moment. Again, it's wrapped up in an amusing, yet philosophical way. So any of you that have gone for that, I hope you enjoy it. Okay, I better run off for now. I've still got some writing to do for today. There's another two chapters to go up on Novotels. I am writing two brand new chapters a week on top of writing the books. So I hope you've enjoyed this. Give me a thumbs up if you have. Nip over and check out the YouTube. There's a lot of older stuff on there. I will start to put some new stuff up over the next few weeks. And I'll let you know here when that's going to happen. And then you can check over there as well. Enjoy your holidays, those who've got holidays coming. And I hope that I can do this once a week. If enough of you enjoy it, then I will try, really try, to make the time. Okay, so enough musing from me today. I hope you enjoy yourselves. Have a great time, and I'll catch up with you soon. Goodbye for now.